All right, we're back on the road, leaving Valley City, North Dakota, and our first stop on this trip across to Teddy Roosevelt National Park today is the world's largest buffalo statue, which is only a short 30 miles from here. So we're gonna stop at the world's largest buffalo statue and hopefully find a coffee shop that a local told us was pretty good at the statue. So when you're in North Dakota, you gotta stop and see whatever it may be. So we'll take a look at this world's largest buffalo statue, get a nice picture with it, and then we'll be back on the road to Bismarck, <clears throat> where we're actually going to go to a highly recommended donut shop. They're bragging it's the best donut in the Midwest, even though we're in the Great Plains now. But it's called Bear Scat Bakeries. So we'll see how that goes in Bismarck. So a lot of action going on today, and we'll see you at the world's largest buffalo statue. So here we are walking down the path to the world's largest buffalo statue in Jamestown, North Dakota. And it's a pretty nice day out, sunny, about 51 degrees, but look at the size of this thing. The world's largest buffalo statue. Now this is the kind of action you can only get here on Shabby's Extras from North Dakota. Look at this thing. That's my son Jack walking in front of the camera like a big dog. <laughs> look, at, look at this monstrous buffalo. Imagine that was real. Oh, I know. It's been up here since 1959. Look at the size of this thing. So there you go. The world's largest buffalo statue. They got a wild west frontier town here too. So we may poke around, but things, most things are closed because we're here early in the morning. So we'll check in with you in a bit. So here we are by the world's largest fake buffalo. And now we got some real buffalo out on the range, just right down the hill from I-94. They're just standing there looking cool. I don't know if you can make much out. I got the cameras zoom all the way up, but there's a herd of them right there. There's three, and then there's another one over here on the hill right there grazing. There he is walking. So pretty cool here in North Dakota buffalo action, our first buffalo action of the North Dakota trip. Pretty cool. All right, so we just got off the highway and we are in Bismarck, North Dakota, and we're gonna make a stop at this Bear Scat Bakehouse, which everybody has told us here in North Dakota has got the best donuts anywhere around. Well, we will find out for sure here in a couple of minutes before we get to the bear, bear Scat Bakehouse. Turn right onto Spalding Avenue. So here we are at the Bear Scat Bakehouse. Give you an idea what they have here, what the prices are. And then here's all the donuts. Now we're here later in the day, so there's not as many, but they do a donut birthday. And then we have all sorts of different donuts and I'll show you the actual Bear Scat donut that they have, which is what I got which is this up here. So there you have it. That's what the bear scat looks like. And up top, the explanation, bear scat, a cowboy term for donuts. So how about that? So here's my bear scat donut I got, and here's my coffee. So we'll see how it is. There you go. Chocolate clays donut that looks like a poop. Why not? All right, so we're done with the Bear Scat Bakehouse. Seven miles. Keep right onto I-94 West toward Billings. So we are back on 94 West, done with the Bear Scat Bakehouse. And what was the verdict on the Bear Scat Bakehouse, everybody? Jack? What was, sorry? What was the verdict on the donuts at the bakehouse? Well, I... Uh... It was very, very good. I enjoyed it a lot. The Krispy Kreme still beats it. <laughs> okay. Honey, what do you think? I thought they were very good, but I agree with Jack. I think there are other just as there are other good donut places that are obviously closer to us. But they but, were very good for the local donut shop. But are they are there any donut places better than that in North Dakota, right? No. There's only two locations, Minot 
and Most Bismarck. Most likely not. We didn't even see a Dunkin' Donuts. How about no. that? Yeah, I haven't seen any other donut places at all. No, no other donut chain. So, so in terms of North Dakota, it's the highlight for donuts. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And the and you know what? The bear scat donut that looked like a big old bear poop. It tasted <laughs> just fine. I mean, it's a chocolate glaze. How can you do a chocolate glazed donut go, you know, badly? Yeah. But it's still a cute idea. It's a cute name. They got a good reputation. They seem to give back a lot to the local businesses in town, the schools and stuff. So, you know, I guess you just kind of have to go with the flow up here in the great state of North Dakota. So we are just leaving the whole Bismarck area. Of course, the capitals of, of uh, North Dakota is Bismarck. So this is a big town, a lot of hotels, a lot of chain restaurants, which I'm not in love with. So we're not going to eat lunch here. We're going to continue on to Medora, uh, North Dakota and eat there uh, because that's been highly recommended as a place to eat that's got some local sh uh, restaurants to eat at rather than McDonald's, Burger King, Hardee's, Taco Bell, and God knows what else is in Bismarck. So we're going to head out that way. We got 131 miles to go to get to Medora and right now we're averaging only 24.7 miles per gallon on this trip from Valley City because every gas grade in North Dakota is at least 10% ethanol and I'm convinced that the ethanol reduces the gas mileage uh, in your car so we'll see what happens we'll get through this construction site and I'll be back with you here in about an hour and 45 minutes as we get, are getting into Medora, North Dakota, and we're going back another hour in time, and we'll be on the mountain time zone by the time we get to Medora. All right, we are about five miles out of Medora, North Dakota, right next to Teddy Roosevelt National Park, and we're now starting to hit North Dakota Badlands and the scenery here is just incredible. All right, so we have eaten our lunch in Medora, North Dakota. We've just entered Teddy Roosevelt National Park. I paid, got my park pass, and actually I was able to get a annual interagency park pass that's good at any national park for a year since we're going to be here. And, uh, and over at Yellowstone for a week on this road trip. That cost me 80 bucks. And that gets me into any national park for a year. So I think that's a pretty good deal. So we'll put that away and now I can use it at Yellowstone and I don't need to mess around with uh, getting a park pass at Yellowstone. But here in the North Dakota Badlands, Teddy Roosevelt National Park, we're gonna go on this uh, scenic drive and there's there'll be some scenic overlooks and opportunities to walk and uh, do some hiking so we're gonna do that today and uh, I'll see you in a little bit once we get to the uh, first stop we're actually gonna do a little walking at. Well here we are at the National Park on the scenic drive and we got our first herd of buffalo and a bunch of prairie dogs running around. How about that action? First time I've seen a prairie dog outside of a zoo. Of course I'm from Jersey so what do you expect? But they're just lounging out, having a good time, checking things out, and then a whole bunch of prairie dogs running around like mad dogs in those little prairie dog holes. People around here think they're as bad as squirrels. That's what they told me. They run up to you and cause havoc. But anyway, let's see if we can get some more closer views of the wildlife as we go through the park. Look at all this bison. Bison surrounding the car here at Teddy Roosevelt National Park. Out of control.
wild horses here at the park. Look at these beauties. People driving in front of me, look how beautiful they look. Wow.